Hi everyone. Uh, today we are trying to respond to our YouTube comments and uh, some of the questions that our learners have. And for the entry level, fresher level, there are a lot of misconceptions. There are thoughts that DevOps and cloud is not meant for freshers. To some extent, yes, maybe no. Um, and a lot of DevOps engineers, cloud engineers, they struggle to start their journey. So today we have Saurabh with us who will help us uh, answer some of these misconceptions. How, uh, uh, how should a fresher entry level person who is maybe passing out from college or uh, maybe switching from a different stream to uh, DevOps and cloud. So how how should some, some somebody who is just entry level and also is it really true that there are no jobs for entry uh, level freshers and cloud engineers in the industry? Uh, so if you can help us, uh, Saurabh. Yeah, thank you, Sanjeev. See, first of all, I would like to say that if you are a skilled person, uh, there is no limitation of jobs. So, but if you are unskilled, you don't really want to learn, then you will face job crisis throughout as you are in the same state. So it's very essential to have an open mind to keep learning. When it comes to DevOps, cloud, so it's just, just another career path in the, in the technology stream. So similarly is AI ML, similarly is your application programming. So there's nothing really fancy or hard or, or easy about any of these tool stacks. As long as you have a very good foundation, uh, that is the most important thing. So when you pass out of the college, somebody who is a fresher, it becomes very difficult to, to even know what you're looking for, right? So same thing. So like when you are in grade 10 or grade 12, you don't really know whether you want to be in medical or you want to go to our engineering or you want to be a pilot. You just don't know. So you just have to take a leap of faith. Same is here uh, for DevOps and cloud. Maybe you have just heard from your friends that, uh, DevOps is good. Same for artificial intelligence and the machine learning. You must have heard somewhere, read a blog that uh, these technologies are the futuristic technologies and let's learn about that. So this is the mindset of a fresher when they come into it. Now DevOps and cloud, they are very interesting technologies. Uh, they are, they have been around here for around 12 years, 15 years or so, and they are still in business. The reason behind Dev why DevOps and cloud they will remain for a long time is because of the automation. Uh, cloud has its own benefits. Uh, it's very easy to procure in terms of infrastructure it provides you scalability, reliability, all these different metrics of, of the cloud. So welcome to those freshers who want to go into DevOps and cloud technologies. It's a very good indeed career path. Few things that you need to learn. You have to be very, very sure that your foundations are prepared well. So if you are a fresher, you will be having some sort, and probably if you are a computer science graduate, so you will be having some sort of uh, programming knowledge uh, from, from uh, wherever you have learned. So if you have started up with Java or Python, keep your programming very, uh, very strong, uh, especially the scripting part, because that will be uh, very much useful to you. Understand the cloud concepts. So if you have, if you've heard about AWS, GCP, Azure, pick any cloud and go right to the depth of it. When I, when I say go into the depth of it, you need to understand that there are around, let's say 10, 12, 15 um, basic services in cloud. So you need to uh, understand at least what these services mean. And plus you need hands-on on it. So it's very easy to procure an AWS login. Get a, get a login, get very familiarized hands-on and once you're doing hands-on, you will get a lot of understanding. So the first thing is foundation. So you would need a good programming language if, if you if you are right from the uh, right from the start. So programming language or scripting will help. And then a very good uh, cloud foundation. The second thing which I would uh, say is gain practical experience. Now you would say that, okay, I do not, I'm not working in an industry. How do I gain practical experience? Fair question. But what happens is that uh, you can create multiple projects on your own, right? So if you don't know how to create a project, just go on to websites, uh, search Google, that uh, what are the different projects that you can work on? So they, they can give you little small projects, which can help you clear a lot of doubts. 
clear lots of uh, how the integration between the technologies work how all these different uh, tech stacks that you are using for example you are using git linux jenkins uh, github actions artifactory docker kubernetes terraform how these technologies interact each other in a, in a nutshell the large organizations the projects that they have they are not very different than the projects that you will build so what will differ is so let's say if you are building a little website okay so very easy to do uh, you will find the probably the code also somewhere uh, you can deploy that website that is not very different than what a large organization website will be right so it's just a matter of scaling it's just a matter of more security it's just a matter of more cloud optimization more cost control of security uh, security i already said so just a, it's just a matter of going deeper into each aspect but if you are doing a project on your own you will get an understanding of how things work and that will go a very long way the third thing i would say is uh, don't just be a blank fresher who doesn't know anything if if you are not really sure of the projects contribute to some of the open source projects so there are lots of open source projects which are there they are looking for people who can contribute so try try to do those sort of contributions so you will find many open source projects in in github.com or or many of the open source websites right the fourth thing which i would say is uh, if you are able to build a good network network of people try to be very active on linkedin try to connect to people now random do i am not saying that you go and spam random people who are successful in the way that you are looking to them as heroes don't go and connect don't don't just uh, blast them with spam the connections can be done if you share the same interest so for example if you if you you are going to an aws seminar that is where you go and meet people so try to attend some professional camps there you will be able to build some more networking right so join online communities try to contribute if you are there are two types of people one is a contributor the other one is just an observer don't just be an observer if you are if you are contributing regularly to some uh, let's say open source projects or contributing to some sort of networking people notice and people will actually react to that and they will identify that you are different than the others so that is something that will that will help you out and of course uh, keep on applying for the entry level positions so keep your eyes open on your local job sites on linkedin apply for uh, for for the jobs which are relevant to you sometimes you will feel that you might have to tweak your cv in terms of uh, what are the job descriptions but i would say that be very careful when you are tweaking your cv uh, just don't tweak it and match it to the job description because when you get an interview call you have to justify as well so be very careful with whatever you are writing in your cv uh, because you will you may not get as many opportunities as an experienced person right so whatever you are writing in your cv if you are able to justify it you might just uh, clear an interview just probably in a one or two shots itself right so let's say you are doing two interviews you clear, you clear one and remember you only need one position to break yourself from the fresher stack so i think uh, these are the points that uh, a fresher can keep in mind uh, it's a it's a hard industry it's not really it's not too soft on freshers but i think they can still do it because uh, with if with everything in consideration and one thing which i would really really emphasize on is people are searching for jobs right but on the same way employers are really really searching even 10 times harder than the people searching for jobs because employers really need people who are very good so if you outshine in your with within your peers itself that is good enough to land your job and if you continuously outshine you might actually be heroes within your community because if you really outshine there is there is no limit to, it, to what you can do so thank you sanjeev for asking that uh sorry so yeah it was a uh, great insights uh, not every fresher is same so don't be that fresher who is absolutely entry level and doesn't know anything build projects look for internships mentorships or any such program which connects you with the industry and then you probably need 
uh, just one break, just like everybody else gets it. Cool. Thank you, Laura. Thank you.